Hey everyone, it's Reese Hitter Day, week tomorrow. I'm um, just coming to you to show you how I put on my Eon hair. It's uh, Malaysian Street. I'll leave the links below. I'm just showing you the wig and how I constructed it. It's four bundles, 26, 24, 22, 20, and a 16 lace straight closure. I'm not gonna be wearing my wig cap today because I added an elastic band in the front of the closure so I have it more secure. So I just did a middle parting in my hair and placed the wig on top, just centering everything. And I forgot my brush, I had to go get it. So with that, I just brush out the hair. Now the hair is straight, so it's really soft. I've had it braided up and braided in two ponytails for a long time because I really love wavy curly hair. So it still has little kinks to it. It brushes really smooth. Um, there's not a lot of snags or tangling. The closure, I didn't do nothing to it. I just kind of just parted it. And you'll see now I'm just taking out my edges. As you saw earlier, my hair is really, really short. Taking out my edges, making sure everything looks lined up. The parting is not straight, which seems more natural to me. And just lining it up with my hair. I'm trying to take out as less hair as possible when it comes to my hair because um, that's what the closure is for. Now I'm just searching for my concealer. It's a MAC concealer. I can't remember the end number. So I just pop that on to my scalp and make sure it blends really, really nicely. It already does. And this is what I use on my face. Um, I don't usually wear a lot of makeup, so there won't be a lot of makeup tutorials going on on my channel. Sorry, ladies and gents and Kathleen. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so just make sure that concealer's on pretty nicely and just kind of smooth it out, making sure the closure is pulled forward. Um, yeah, just lining it up, pulling back my hair. As you can see, my hair is really, really flat. There is a little hump to it at the back, but that gets straightened out. Um, I'm using um, my edge control, which is Dr. Miracles. It's not greasy. It's not, it doesn't turn my hair white. It smells good. And it's actually conditioning to my hair. I just pop that in the front of my hair and also just just all along my hairline um as you can see i sewed a little track underneath so if the wind does blow there's not you can't see trackage it's just hair again pulling the hair down i'm still trying to master the whole elastic band method thing really so now i'm just using my brush to brush everything together from the line um of the closure with my hair um, sometimes I slick the hair underneath, sometimes I bump it up, it just depends. Trying to learn how to do all this straight hair business. Um, so yeah, just pulling the hair forward, step back a bit to show you it's 24 inches, the longest length, and it's still really soft. I've had it for like a week now, and yeah, I can't complain. I have not co-washed it, unfortunately. I'm using my GHD straighteners, which get hot in like 20 seconds and they are amazing so i'm just using that to flatten the closure against my hair and then i will flat iron now ladies i don't have any techniques in my flat ironing skills i just grab hair and run it through i run it through a lot because i kind of love flat irons I'm using my tresemme because i forgot my tresemme heat protectant spray that on my hair and make sure i put it on the edges as well spraying all over and I also use a little mixture in this container of argan oil some moisturizing lotion and just a little um, dab in my hand to run through the edges So I couldn't find my hair clips, so I wanted to show you the decent way of flat iron hair. You obviously section the back and then run your flat iron through the hair. Um, I don't really necessarily need to run it so many times. I just really, really like 
this flat iron. It's really, really good. Um, so yeah, you're supposed to section, put the rest of the hair up, and run it through. I mean, that's what all the gurus do, right? So, but yeah, I don't got time. I'm getting ready for work. And so just kind of going through it. Now, like I said, I usually have these braided up or uh, worn curled or flexi rods. So the straight hair has got kinks to it just because of that fact. So now actually having it bone straight, it won't really straighten. Now I haven't co-washed it. So it's when I do that, I will show you guys how bone straight it does get. Now, like I said, this hair is really soft. It's very manageable. No, there is no um, tangling or matting, nothing like that. I will show you the shedding later of what I got from this whole process that's in my brush. Um, so yeah, um, the sheen or luster, as they say, is pretty nice. Now, I did put some argan oil on it, but regardless of that, the hair's sheen is really, really nice. Um, it doesn't look too shiny. The ends are still good. Now I know this is like a week or two I've had this hair now, but it's not doing any problems for me. So now I'm just gonna show you all the shedding to take out the brush that I've had from this whole process. So not a lot. So yeah, that's it guys. That's how I put on my wig. I'll probably do another tutorial on how I do my curly hair. But yeah, stick around. It's Reese here today. Wig tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, and definitely subscribe. Bye.